Now for this part of the question, we've got f of x then equals 2 sine of x squared plus x minus 2. Now when f of x equals 0, we're told that this equation can be written as x equals arc sine of 1 minus 0.5x all to the power a half. And we can turn this into an iterative formula. x subscript 10 plus 1 equals arc sine of 1 minus 0.5x with the subscript 10 all to the power half. And if we start with our first approximation to the root x0 equaling 0.8, we've got to find x1, x2 and x3 to five decimal places. Well, you're going to need a calculator obviously to do this and make sure that it is in radians mode. And what we've got to do is put 0.8 in here for our value of x0 and that will allow us to get x1, the next value. And once we've got that value, feed that one back into here and it will allow us to get the next approximation x2 and with that one feed it back into here, do it all over again and you'll get x3. Now there is a quick way as I've mentioned in many other tutorials and that is, and I'll just run it through here with you, just type into your calculator the first value, 0.8 in this case. So we just type in 0.8 and then once you've typed that in just press equals and then clear the screen. So the screen will get cleared and that is stored now as your answer button, ANS. So you've got to now enter this particular function into your calculator. But wherever you see this X, press the ANS key. So you're going to see something like this. You won't have an arc sign function as such on your calculator. I, I doubt it very much. It'll be inverse sign. So on your calculator, just type a bracket, say, first of all, and then enter the inverse sine function. So it will come up something like with sine with a little minus one there. And then open up another bracket and then you've got one minus 0 0.5 and then at this point type in the or press the ANS button there so you'll get ANS will display here. Close the bracket and close the bracket again and then enter to the power a half. So if you just squeeze that in there, it should look something like that. Or in place of a half, you might want to press the square root key because that's what the power half represents. So assuming that you've got something like that, what you do next to get x1 is just press equals. And when you press equals, this display will go and it will reveal the answer to x1. And you should see the digits 0 0.802185 and there'll be lots more digits depending on your display. So if we write this to five decimal places, then x1 is going to be 0 0.80219. Just put that in brackets to five decimal places. We need x2 and x3. And to get these values, all you need to do is just press equals again. Do that, that will disappear, and you'll get x2 come up on the screen as 0 0.801333 and so on. And again, if you do that to five decimal places, you're going to have 0 0.80133. So that's to five decimal places. Now to get x3 all you've got to do is just press equals again and as soon as you press equals the screen will clear and you should find that you get the next value x3 as being 0 0.801665 and so on. So giving this one to five decimal places you'll have 0 0.80167 to five decimal places. All right, so I hope that gives you some idea then 
how to do questions like this.